Singapore's home prices are continuing their climb despite the pandemic. Private home prices have risen for a fourth straight quarter, climbing 2.9 percent in the first three months of the year. That's the sharpest quarterly increase in almost three years. HDB resale prices also went up, according to the latest flash estimates. The private residential market picked up momentum in the first quarter of the year, as COVID-19 vaccinations injected confidence in the prospect of economic recovery. Gains in private home prices were led by landed properties, which grew 5.6%. Non-landed private homes also rose 2.1%, supported by strong condominium sales in the city fringes, such as Nomanton Park and the Reef at King's Dock. But figures are raising expectations of cooling measures to keep prices in check. These were last introduced in 2018 after private residential prices rose by over 3% in two consecutive quarters. I think government actually may have to balance between introducing cooling measures to stabilise the market. On the other hand, the economy is just starting to get from the recession after the pandemic, I think all these cooling measures may have also an unintended consequence if they are not introduced properly. Public housing resale prices also rose for a fourth consecutive quarter to hit 2.8%, with over 50 resale flats sold for at least $1 million, according to one analyst. Those we spoke with say pent-up demand is pushing up prices. That's even as HDB is set to launch about 8,700 BTO flats by August. Going forward, most analysts expect both the private and public housing markets to grow this year. We are looking at, say, maybe up to 5% increase in terms of prices for the HDB resale market. For the private market-wise, there is a possibility of the government stepping in to uh, so-called cool the market. But overall, we still expect uh, positive price growth for the whole of 2021, uh, up to, uh, we say, 5%. Official figures for the full quarter will be released in about three weeks.